Hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. Welcome into another exclusive interview here on Gamecock Central. I am Kendall Smith, joined alongside a very special guest today. It is CJ Showtime Adams. He is one of the newest commits in the class of 2023 for the University of South Carolina football team out of Pebble Brook High School in Mableton, Georgia. CJ, congratulations on committing, and thank you for joining us. How have the last... 24 to 48 hours of your life been since committing? Uh, very happy. Uh, I mean, enthusiastic to be a Gamecock, actually. Yeah. Uh, Coach Steph and Coach Beamer and the coaches made it feel pretty good and pretty at home. I love the fact that you have the Gamecock football poster behind you. You've got your uh, Gamecock bracelets on, show everybody <laughs> the whole entire. Yeah, I mean, you are totally like, Full of Gamecock spirit already. I'm sure our fans love to see it. And you committed just a couple of days ago. And like I said, CJ Adams, but your nickname is Showtime. So I want to start off this episode by asking you where the nickname Showtime came from. Um, me and my friend, we was like, well, he's like my brother. We stay together. His name, Bright Air Powers. And like, we would work out during the season and we'd be like, I'd just be like, man, today, like this year, our season, blah, blah, blah. It's our season. I'm going to put on the show. He was like, that should be your nickname. And I'm like, what, Showtime? Because before I played quarterback and when I played quarterback, it was like, it was always a show to watch. So at wide receiver, it was crazy. I got to do a little bit more. It was wild. So. That first game, I think I had, what, two touchdowns at quarterback and one at wide receiver, like 200 yards. Yeah. yeah that's where it came from. You told and me after that, it show. Just, you said you're an athlete and you do it all, and you said that there. Yeah. Yeah. After that, it just, I just become my name, my nickname. Oh, my gosh. It's perfect. I mean, just based off what you said, you play, you know, so many different positions, very versatile athlete. So, CJ, what would you say your biggest strengths as a football player are? Um, my physicality and dog mentality. Like, I, like, me personally, outside of the field, like, I'm very quiet, like, laid back kind of guy. When I get in between the lines, it's just like, it, it click on, like, I got to, I got to put on, like, me and my team, we got to put on, like, and I'm from the South, like, Fitzgerald, Georgia, native, I'm country, mean, yeah, tough, rough, I've been rough all my life. <laughs> you put on a show, just like your nickname, Showtime, it fits perfectly, but CJ, on these shows, we like to talk a little bit more about you as a person and kind of get to know your personality a little bit more so that our fans can know the people that are committing to play football at South Carolina. So are you down for, for some more like fun questions? Yeah. Okay, cool. So would you consider yourself an early morning person or a night owl? Night owl. Yeah. Early morning is not my stuff, but I know like in college, it's going to have to be what it's early because yeah. so I'm slowly getting into the progress of becoming an early bird but usually I'm a night owl I can stay up <laughs> oh, <laughs> so same. How, late, how late do you usually like stay up on an average night like what's the usual bedtime two oh my gosh that is late that's so I late sleep like like today after football practice you're I text you this morning and then I got in the shower I ate at like 2.30, and I just woke up at like 7. Like, I wow. sleep all during the day yeah. and then stay up all night. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I'm kind of similar. Like, I stay up very late, too. But I feel like when you're an athlete like that and you're constantly burning calories and just going all the time, that when you get your downtime, you definitely want to chill. So when you have a day off, CJ, what is the perfect day off look like for you? The perfect day off is like how – I don't really say a day off. Like, I got to work out in the morning. It's just me and being in the SEC, how I want to be. I know I have to work out in the morning. So 
I'm slowly getting into transformation with that. So I would have to work out, come home, eat, go to sleep. And then after that, I'll probably chill. I like watch like TV shows on Netflix a little bit until probably I fall asleep. Then I'll wake up, probably get on a game with my friends until like, probably like 12, <laughs> one. And then, yeah. Then I'll turn on a different show that's like, you have your binge watching shows and then you have your shows like, all right, this show might be boring, just gonna put me to sleep shows. I'll put on that and then I'll just go to sleep. So what are your binge watching shows and then what are your shows that are boring that put you to sleep? <laughs> um, like, my binge, like, I like watching like fantasy sci-fi shows a little bit and then I like watching sports shows, sometimes documentation, documentaries, um, sometimes horror movies. Like, I like the screen, the TV show. Mm -hmm. The TV show is really good. Um, Umbrella Academy, Stranger Things, Raising Dion, and what? What was I just watching today? First Kill. Okay. First Kill was like the, it was like the vampire, it was like a vampire type thing. And then, yeah, I'll just be, I'll just be exploring new shows and stuff. And then I'll watch All American, of course, and then go on to CW and watch the Homecoming version. And then shows that like put me to sleep. Oh, let's not even forget about Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I watch Scooby-Doo and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh my gosh. The one on Nickelodeon and then uh, Scooby-Doo. Mr. Mr. Incorporated. And then like my sleep shows it just be like some random cartoon, like a random cartoon that I find on there scrolling. Because you don't want to scroll for too long. I love that. I love that you watch Scooby Doo. I love that you watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like throwback to the past, childhood vibes. Literally the best. Um, those are some good shows. The scary shows, I don't know about. Like, how do you sleep after watching a scary show? I think I'd be too terrified to go to bed. Yeah, I used to be scared of scary shows, like, when I was younger. But, like, once I got, like, the middle school, I guess I just embraced it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, like, sometimes, like, when you're watching a movie and it's, like, you hear the theme song, it's predictable. Like, you just get yourself ready for the jump scare. Yeah. And then... After you just play the game or something, take your mind off it so you'll be all right. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess that's some good advice for people who are uh, scared of watching scary movies. Just kind of getting used to it. Maybe watching them a little bit more makes it less scary. But CJ, we talked about all the work that you do, that you're constantly working out, constantly burning calories. And we've already talked about eating a little bit and how you're eating throughout the day. So if you could go to your favorite restaurant, like a place you would probably never get tired of eating, where would you go? Restaurant or fast food? You could do both. Um, my favorite restaurant is down here. I like kibachi. Okay. So it'll be Orient Express. It's like on Pacers Ferry Road, I think. And then my favorite fast food, I like wings. And it's like American Deli, U.S. Deli, U.S. Cafe. Yeah. Okay. Good thing we have some good wing places in Columbia. So you definitely won't be disappointed when you come to South Carolina. But this is a question, CJ, that I ask every single commit. And it started back almost a year ago and it's continued on every show. And it's about weird food combinations. So do you have any bizarre food combinations that you like to eat that other people might find weird? Some people don't. Some people are like, I just eat pretty normal food. Hey, I can't. We've had some weird ones. I just talked to Jalen Kilgore. He did Ritz crackers with honey. That was his weird food combo. That's crazy. <laughs> you don't approve? Um, I ain't never tried it, so I can't really say I, I don't approve. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I guess we can come back to you about that one. It is a tough question. Like, one morning, like one morning, I think I had like, I had a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> One morning, I probably like I had. I think it was fruity pebbles. Like when I get fruity pebbles, I don't get the fruity pebble brand. I get like they like Dino Bites, and it's like coming a big packet. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mom get that. I probably had that. I had that that one morning and so what do you call that junk? Uh piece of rose and cheesecake. <laughs> Just for <laughs> breakfast one morning? Just for breakfast one morning. Okay. I mean I, I get it. Like, you know, some sugar in there, you got your pizza rolls, which I think pizza for breakfast is never a bad thing. Like I think that's totally normal. Yeah, but I feel like breakfast pizza and pizza pizza are two different things. That's true. That is very true. Okay, I like it. Kind of switch it up on the breakfast food. That's good. So CJ, if someone came up to you and they were like, introduce you to me in three words, what three words would you use to introduce yourself? Um, <laughs> hey, I'm CJ. <laughs> and then I'll probably like, I wouldn't say that I'm a football player because when people ask me if I'm a football player, I tell them no. Why? I don't know because like, I just don't want to be known as just a football player. I want to be known outside of a football player. Like, hey, like somebody come up to me and be like, hey, what's your name? I'll probably like, my name's CJ. Tell them what school I go to. And then I'll tell them like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I would introduce myself. I, ain't, I don't think I've been in that stage a little bit. Okay. We'll think about it. We'll come back to that one. When you're at a press conference at South Carolina, when you're up on the podium, I'll ask you the question again in like a year and, and we'll see how maybe the answer has changed. Um, but it is summer and we've talked about food already on the show, but I feel like ice cream is like the go-to kind of dessert for summer because it's hot. If you live in Georgia, you know how it is. It gets super, super hot and warm down here in the South. So if you're going to the ice cream shop, what is the go-to ice cream flavor? Mm, we don't. Oh, I either go to Quick Shake. I either go to Quick Shake and get a Quick Shake. And it's like a vanilla with caramel okay. and whipped cream. And if I go to Dairy Queen, it'll be like a Royal New York Cheesecake Blizzard. Mm, that sounds good. Cheesecake flavored ice cream, 10 out of 10. I'm always down got, for a soft serve too. And they got strawberries in it. Mm. Cheesecake, New York Cheesecake Bites. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I like it. I dig it. I feel like your sense of food is like, it's good. What you What you're telling me so far... <laughs> Sounds really good. Uh, CJ, just committed to South Carolina. What is your message to Gamecock Nation ahead of coming to play for the Gamecocks? Um, they, got, they got a real cool dude. Like, when I get up there, like, and the people that – the people on the official visit, the players that I was with, they're pretty cool too. Like, and we all was, like, chilling, like, three days, like, we just met each other and it was like we made a bond that quick. So like most of the players that uh went up there, we're gonna be straight. And I feel like when we get up there, it's gonna be something special. Good stuff. The fans are gonna love to hear it for sure. And I'm sure that they loved this interview and getting to know CJ Showtime Adams, one of the newest commits in the class of 2023 for South Carolina football. CJ, congratulations again. Thank you so much for joining us here on Gamecock Central. And we are looking forward to following the rest of your journey. Thank you. Thank you for having me here.